next to the keypad, I've got uh, a row of buttons. Uh, one is uh, speaker volume up, speaker volume down, and then one is mute. So when I'm listening to the SDR and I'm going to transmit, I just hit that mute button and that eliminates that feedback and you don't have to reach over and turn your speaker volume down, that kind of thing. Uh, do you have one of those buttons on your keyboard? I guess I do. I'm using it right now. Yeah, it works. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> My right is uh, I don't really listen and talk. I talk on the radio. I listen to the, the SDR. It's just that uh, I want to hear Bill. If he's done when he was talking, so when you switch it over, I listen to Bill on the SDR. Yeah, sometimes during that JNN, you know, uh, Stan will give the line up, and the guy that's ahead of me, I'll have to listen to on the SDR. As he turns it over to me, I just push that button to mute the uh, audio on the computer as I step on the foot pedal for the uh, transceiver, and it works pretty slick. I can keep the volume turned down on the transceiver then and just listen on the uh, computer speaker. So, but it's nice to have that mute button and volume button on your keyboard, and not all keyboards have that. So if you have it, you don't need to just keep your finger on it. And when you're going to listen, you hit it and turn the volume back on. When you're getting ready to talk, you hit it again, and uh, or vice versa, you know what I'm saying. Yes, I do. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I wish it was a better location because i got to reach across my keyboard because it's at the top row to the left of my function button. So uh, it is what it is, though. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll provide adapt and overcome. Hoorah. So, yeah, not a problem. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, enjoying the, you know, the, the JNN with the SDR because I, I can hear it just everybody's down there. And it was, it's great to hear people because you don't know what's being said. You hear people responding to it, like Stan or somebody or you or whatever, or somebody responded to it. I don't know what's going on, you know, but I'm a guy who wants to know. So I'll send it back to Bill or you or whoever wants to pick it up, just anyway. Yeah, I don't listen. I don't like, if I can't hear a guy in my transceiver and he talks for two minutes, I don't like sitting there listening to white noise <laughs> for two minutes. I'd rather listen to him on the SDR. But unfortunately, when it's my turn to uh, uh, up the bat there, he can't hear me, you know, unless he, what they need to do or somebody needs to do is put together some additional rules or methods of operation that if you think about an SDR, it's very similar to using like a two meter uh, FM repeater. It's just that uh, you're transmitting with your transmitter, but you're receiving on a, on a different receiver an antenna. Uh, if you think of it that way, it's, it's almost like using a you know two meter uh, FM transceiver. Now, a lot of people say, well, it's cheating. You use that charge. It's cheating. Well, it's just it's in a better location to receive the guy you're trying to listen to than you are. And if you can pick them up then via internet, what's the difference? I mean, you're getting the same thing accomplished. But both people or everybody in the group would have to have a computer with that capability with the internet, you know. But if they did, then there'd be no problem. You know, people could hear you direct. They could hear you direct if they quit. Well, they just uh, turn up the volume on the SDR when it's your turn to talk, you know. That would work pretty cool. I'm surprised more people don't do that. You know, it would be cool if I had a uh, just a switch right up here in the front here, you know, somewhere I can go back and forth with it. You know, I mean, go click, 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 you know, back and forth, on, off, whatever, you know, that would make things so much easier to so reach across the keyboard. Because you may want to use that keyboard while you're talking on, uh, or on an SDR or whatever, you know, so, so yeah. Hmm, that gives me an idea. So, I'm sorry. I'll be thinking about that for sure. So I kind of believe there's some type of start switching mode that you can go from computer to radio, you know what Yeah, I'm lucky on this particular keyboard that the audio buttons are right down at the very bottom. I only have to, I have it on a tray that, you know, slides out from underneath the desktop. And I've only got to pull that keyboard out about two or three inches to expose those keys. So that gives my hands plenty of uh, room to work the mouse on the mouse pad or my uh, my key uh, you know, here on my uh, my vibrant flex key here. Uh, but when I need to mute that 
thing real quick. I can just reach right down there and tap that button. So. Oh, you can always work up a, a relay or something. Put your speaker wires through a double pole, double through a relay. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, hook it up to your 12 volt power supply to your rig or something, and then just drill a hole through your desk and put a toggle switch or a push button or something there. You, know, you just got to get creative. That's all. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, getting creative. But we'll see, you know. I mean, I might, I might get comfortable with my my fingers, especially across the keyboard. But we don't know that until I try it for a few more times. But uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It, it, it really helps out there on the, you know, on the net. Oh, I've been saying that J and S. Now I know what's going on. Because that time I didn't know, because <laughs> I couldn't hear them. So yeah, this, you know, that's the first time I really used the uh, SDR for that length of time. You know, I mean, so my God, what after the thing that's going on in my, in my location, the, you know, the uh, new net that's going on, I jumped on there and I've been listening ever since. And, and I said, wow, that yeah, was well, cool. Anyway, uh, who wants to pick it up? Um, I'm sure we don't want to hog the call. So let's, uh, how about Bill? Bill, you got anything else to say? Which one? Flip a coin. Yeah, we got Big Bill and Little Bill. Where's Medium Bill? No, it's not Little Bill, it's Good Bill. Good Bill is good and the bad, and the ugly, and we haven't heard him yet. Uh, Bill, let me ship it to you real quick there. K7WHH, where do you want to go on 75? He's turning this out as a test here at the VLN. Where do you want to try 75? Uh, K7WHH, 77 FBI. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I moved in the SDR, which I just found about found out about about three days ago. Somebody was listening to me on that. I had no idea what it was, so I just have that uh, clicked in now, so I, I'm actually getting wet now. Fantastic there. But, uh, yeah, on the 80, I'd like to try a 3.825. Yeah, on the 80, I'd like to try a 3.825 on 75 meters or 80 meters at that point. Okay, give me a minute, because I don't usually tweak them around 39 there on the tuner, so I'll have to play with that, but I won't take long. Uh, Wes and uh, Hank and uh, Dave, uh, what you guys carry on here, and we're going to go hit 75 there. Uh, w7 FBI, QSY to 3.825. Bill, we'll catch you there, or catch you back here, or DMR, 